Oh, he's hurt. Munoz has made oh. a rest, but this is the one as well. This is the guillotine straight in. Pedro Munoz secures his sixth career guillotine. You see Munoz land this beautiful left hook. He saw that he had Rob Font hurt. So Rob panic rustles. You should never try to panic rustles. Goes guillotine. Rob does the right thing, goes to his back. Munoz takes him out. Rob Font taps. Again, another tap that happened very fast because these guys are beat. The move is in so deep that you have to tap. What a job floating his hips by Pedro Munoz to get the finish. continues to land, so Hobar dealing with this step up in competition. The Brazilian crowd is blaring some early adversity. Oh, and Hobar's wobbly on his feet. Pedro Munoz pouring it on. This is actually better for Hobar right now. He can try to recover and tie up Pedro Munoz on the ground. Munoz trying to posture up and lands a seminal blow there. Matt Hobar That's it. is out. Pedro Munoz bursting into the win column. Boom. Very nicely set up by his hands first. And he caught Hobart with his left hand low. Impressive that Munoz stayed calm when he had him hurt. He didn't throw everything out there and gas himself out. Chose to posture up once he took him down on the ground and finished him a ground and pound. Munoz lands and gets a takedown, full side control. Could be big for Pedro Munoz to get a breather here. A furious start here. These are the scrambles Don's gonna need to win. He's gotta fight now, break that control of the hands of Pedro Munoz, turn and face him. Nasty, nasty cut on the forehead of Pedro Munoz. Munoz gonna convert to a guillotine, it's deep, but look at Don's got the back of his head just starting to pop out, but this could be tight. He's got it. the top. One of the best guillotines in the division, Pedro Munoz. Inserts the right leg and then immediately looks for this guillotine. Wraps it up quick. And right here, it looks like Don's gonna sneak his head out, but you can see Munoz just gets that shoulder right over the back of it so he can't escape. And man, was that tight. This Bantamweight division just continues to get more and more stacked now with the addition of Justin Scoggins as well. Just a lot of excellent competitors. Ooh, this beautiful scramble. Can't tell from this angle how tight it is, and if he's under the chin, that looks tight. Wow. I think he's There's tapped the already. Tap. Pedro Munoz! We've seen this from before. The slip, the fall, and he jumps on it. Does not miss the opportunity, locks in his signature move. Now look at the adjustments as he rolls him. Now he's sliding his right wrist underneath the chin. Then once he steps over, this thing is viciously tight here. Got the arm trapped behind his right leg. That is all she wrote. Pedro Munoz knows how to find ways to win fights. He did the very similar thing. It's Russell Doan, outstanding poise by Pedro Munoz. Oh, look at that flying knee by Cody. Munoz covers up. And now Garbrandt throwing oh, power swinging. shots. They're trading. Oh, my they're goodness. just trading now. Look at Cody just winding oh. up. Big combination. Oh, my from goodness. Garbrandt. Chaos. Non stop. Oh, beautiful He's knee by Cody. Cody. Cody's got oh, him. Oh, my hurt. gosh. They're just trading right hands in the center. Who's going to get tired first? Oh, oh my goodness. Huge left oh, hook. Let's take a look at it here. Look at this. I mean, this is a movie. Look at that right hand. Boom, and that was the one that took him out. And Pedro jumps on top of him here and finishes. Look, his lands first, right on the forehead, left hand. Boom, that's the one. That's the one that turned his head. Crazy decision for Cody Garbrandt, the faster, slicker fighter, on paper at least, to decide to stand in front of Pedro Munoz and eat this bomb to turn the lights out.
Man, it's a tough sport. It's an unforgiving sport, but Pedro Munoz was looking for that breakthrough moment, that breakthrough win, and he is now a bona fide bantamweight contender.